In electrical and electronic systems, reactance is the opposition of a circuit element to a change in current or voltage, due to that element's inductance or capacitance. The notion of reactance is similar to electrical resistance, but it differs in several respects. In phasor analysis, reactance is used to compute amplitude and phase changes of sinusoidal alternating current going through a circuit element. It is denoted by the symbol X. Display style script style X. An ideal resistor has zero reactance, whereas ideal inductors and capacitors have zero resistance, that is, respond to current only by reactance. The magnitude of the reactance of an inductor rises in proportion to a rise in frequency, while the magnitude of the reactance of a capacitor decreases in proportion to a rise in frequency. As frequency goes up, inductive reactance also goes up and capacitive reactance goes down. Capacitive reactance A capacitor consists of two conductors separated by an insulator, also known as a dielectric. Capacitive reactance is an opposition to the change of voltage across an element. Capacitive reactance X C display style script style X underscore C is inversely proportional to the signal frequency F display style script style F or angular frequency omega and the capacitance C display style script style C there are two choices in the literature for defining reactance for a capacitor. One is to use a uniform notion of reactance as the imaginary part of impedance, in which case the reactance of a capacitor is a negative number x c equals minus 1 omega c equals minus 1 2 Pi F C display style x underscore C equals frac 1 Omega C equals frac 1 2 pi F C another choice is to define capacitive reactance as a positive number X C equals 1 Omega C equals 1 2 pi f c display style x underscore c equals frac 1 omega c equals frac 1 2 pi f c in this case however one needs to remember to add a negative sign for the impedance of a capacitor i e z c equals minus J X C display style Z underscore C equals J X underscore C at low frequencies a capacitor is an open circuit so no current flows in the dielectric a DC voltage applied across a capacitor causes positive charge to accumulate on one side and negative charge to accumulate on the other side. The electric field due to the accumulated charge is the source of the opposition to the current. When the potential associated with the charge exactly balances the applied voltage, the current goes to zero. Driven by an AC supply, ideal AC current source, a capacitor will only accumulate a limited amount of charge before the potential difference changes polarity and the charge is returned to the source. The higher the frequency, the less charge will accumulate and the smaller the opposition to the current. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Inductive reactants. Inductive reactance is a property exhibited by an inductor. An inductive reactance exists based on the fact that an electric current produces a magnetic field around it. In the context of an AC circuit, although this concept applies any time current is changing, this magnetic field is constantly changing as a result of current that oscillates back and forth. 
It is this change in magnetic field that induces another electric current to flow in the same wire, in a direction such as to oppose the flow of the current originally responsible for producing the magnetic field known as Lenz's law. Hence, inductive reactance is an opposition to the change of current through an element. For an ideal inductor in an AC circuit, the inhibitive effect on change in current flow results in a delay, or a phase shift, of the alternating current with respect to alternating voltage. Specifically, an ideal inductor with no resistance will cause the current to lag the voltage by a quarter cycle, or 90 degrees. In electric power systems, inductive reactance and capacitive reactance, however inductive reactance is more common can limit the power capacity of an AC transmission line, because power is not completely transferred when voltage and current are out of phase detailed above. That is, current will flow for an out-of-phase system, however real power at certain times will not be transferred, because there will be points during which instantaneous current is positive while instantaneous voltage is negative, or vice versa, implying negative power transfer. Hence, real work is not performed when power transfer is negative. However, current still flows even when a system is out of phase, which causes transmission lines to heat up due to current flow. Consequently, transmission lines can only heat up so much or else they would physically sag too much, due to the heat expanding the metal transmission lines, so transmission line operators have a ceiling on the amount of current that can flow through a given line, and excessive inductive reactants can limit the power capacity of a line. Power providers utilize capacitors to shift the phase and minimize the losses, based on usage patterns. Inductive reactants X L display style script style X underscore L is proportional to the sinusoidal signal frequency F display style script style F and the inductance L display style script style L which depends on the physical shape of the inductor X L equals Omega L equals two Pi F L Display style x underscore L equals Omega L equals two Pi Florida The average current flowing through an inductance L Display style script style L in series with a sinusoidal AC voltage source of RMS amplitude Display style script style a and frequency f display style script style f is equal to i l equals o omega l equals o two pi f l Display style i underscore l equals a over omega l equals a over two pi Florida. Because a square wave has multiple amplitudes at sinusoidal harmonics, the average current flowing through an inductance l display style script style l in series with a square wave AC voltage source of RMS amplitude a display style script style a and frequency f display style script style f is equal to i l equals a pi 2 8 omega l equals a pi 16 f l Display style i underscore l equals a pi caret two over eight omega l equals a pi over sixteen Florida, making it appear as if the inductive reactance to a square wave was about nineteen percent smaller. X l equals sixteen pi f l. Display style x underscore l equals 16 over pi Florida. 
than the reactance to the AC sine wave. Any conductor of finite dimensions has inductance, the inductance is made larger by the multiple turns in an electromagnetic coil. Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction gives the counter EMF E E voltage opposing current, due to a rate of change of magnetic flux density B B through a current loop E equals minus D phi B D T display style math call E equals D phi underscore B over D T for an inductor consisting of a coil with n display style script style n loops, this gives E equals minus n d phi b d t display style math call e equals n d phi underscore b over d t the counter emf is the source of the opposition to current flow a constant direct current has a zero rate of change, and sees an inductor as a short circuit it is typically made from a material with a low resistivity. An alternating current has a time averaged rate of change that is proportional to frequency, this causes the increase in inductive reactance with frequency. <laughs> Impedance. Both reactants X display style script style X and resistance R display style script style R are components of impedance Z display style script style Z Z equals R plus J X Display style z equals r plus j x, where z display style z is the impedance measured in ohms. R display style r is the resistance measured in ohms. It is the real part of the impedance. R equals z display style r equals re z x display style x is the reactance measured in ohms it is the imaginary part of the impedance x equals z display style x equals i'm z j display style j is the square root of minus 1 usually represented by i display style i in non-electrical formulas, J display style J is used so as not to confuse the imaginary unit with current, commonly represented by I display style I. When both a capacitor and an inductor are placed in series in a circuit, their contributions to the total circuit impedance are opposite. Capacitive reactance X C Display style script style x underscore c and inductive reactance x l display style script style x underscore l contribute to the total reactance x display style script style x as follows x equals x l plus x c equals omega l minus one omega c display style x equals x underscore l plus x underscore c equals omega l frac one omega c where x l display style script style x underscore l is the inductive reactance measured in ohms x c display style script style x underscore c is the capacitive reactance measured in ohms omega display style omega is 
is the angular frequency 2 pi display style 2 pi times the frequency in hz hence if x greater than 0 display style script style x greater than 0 the total reactance is said to be inductive if x equals 0 display style script style x equals 0 then the impedance is purely resistive if x 0 display style script style x the total reactance is said to be capacitive note however that if x l display style script style x underscore l and x c display style script style x underscore c are assumed both positive by definition then the intermediary formula changes to a difference x equals x l minus x c equals omega l minus 1 omega c Display style x equals x underscore l x underscore c equals omega l frac one omega c, but the ultimate value is the same. Topic: Phase relationship. The phase of the voltage across a purely reactive device a capacitor with an infinite resistance or an inductor with a resistance of zero lags the current by pi 2 display style script style pi 2 radians for a capacitive reactance and leads the current by pi 2 display style script style pi 2 radians for an inductive reactance Without knowledge of both the resistance and reactance the relationship between voltage and current cannot be determined. The origin of the different signs for capacitive and inductive reactance is the phase factor E plus or minus J pi 2 display style E caret PMJ pi over 2 in the impedance Z Tilde C equals one Omega C E J minus Pi two equals J minus one Omega C equals J X C Z tilde L equals Omega L E J Pi two equals J Omega L equals J X L display style begin aligned tilde Z underscore C and equals one over Omega C e carrot J pi over 2 equals J left frac 1 Omega C right equals J X underscore C tilde Z underscore L and equals Omega le carrot J pi over 2 equals J Omega L equals J X underscore L quad end aligned for a reactive component the sinusoidal voltage across the component is in quadrature a pi 2 display style script style pi 2 phase difference with the sinusoidal current through the component the component alternately absorbs energy from the circuit and then returns energy to the circuit thus a pure reactance does not dissipate power topic see also Magnetic reactance Susceptance